Today on the Canadian Arcade, we're going to refurbish a Nintendo joystick. So in this video, we're going to look at some basics for restoring a Nintendo joystick. There are many versions of this stick out there, but we're going to focus on the 8-way from a Nintendo vs. cabinet. Just to be clear, most of these differences are just found in the restrictor plate at the bottom of the stick, the size of the ball top, or how the dust washer works with the panel. If yours is different, just be aware of how it comes apart so that you can put it back together in the end. Fun fact, it was recently discovered that these were originally built by Azahi Seiko, the same company that provided coin mechs for many popular arcade game manufacturers, including Nintendo. So the joystick that we're going to use for this video is filthy. It's covered in grime, rust, old grease, and the micro switch terminals are all bent up. The tools and supplies we're going to need are a cordless drill, some simple green, some CLR rust remover, Novus 2 plastic polish, a couple of bowls for soaking parts, 2000 grit wet dry sandpaper, some vinyl tubing, needle nose pliers, a Phillips number two screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a sharp X-Acto knife. We'll also want some isopropyl alcohol, cotton swabs, and some paper towel. Mike'sArcade.com sells a whole host of reproduction parts to rebuild most types of Nintendo sticks, including fully assembled complete reproductions. They are the best, and in most cases, the only place to get some of these parts. Mike's also sells a wide range of Nintendo OEM and reproduction bits including, but not limited to, buttons, harnesses, adapters, plus even game decals and artwork. Mike's parts are top quality and indispensable for what we need here. For this video, we're going to limit ourselves to a new spring, spring stopper, 8-way restrictor plate, and restrictor screws. We'll begin by completely taking the stick apart and separating certain things. We want to set the micro switches aside because we're going to clean them separately from the majority of everything else. Next we'll remove the restrictor plate and the ball top. Be careful with the screws on the restrictor plate so that you don't strip them. To remove the shaft, hold back the metal collar, then use a small flat blade screwdriver to pry off the E-clip. Now that the clip is off, Carefully unload the tension on the collar and remove both it and the spring. The whole stick should separate into all its pieces at this point. If the spring stopper is grimy, it might be stuck inside and need a little convincing to come out. You can see just how greasy and worn these parts are. The collar on the right isn't too bad, so we'll clean it and reuse it. Like a lot of these sticks, the main base has a bunch of surface rust and a ton of old grease around the bearing. The plastics are disgusting and need to be soaked in some cleaner, and the ball top and shaft assembly is covered in grease and needs a good polishing. Now it's time to get these parts clean. We'll start by adding some of the water into the two bowls and then diluting some of the CLR into the first. This will be for the main metal base of the joystick only. It's got all that surface rust on it, so I've opted to clean it separately. Setting that aside, now we'll put some simple green into the second bowl of water. This will be for the smaller bits, like the ball top and the larger plastic parts. Basically everything but the main base and the micro switches go in here. I just want to point out that there are other cleaners like simple green, but it's what I've always used. Another thing that you want to do at this point is to pull the plastic collar off the ball top. We're going to be replacing it with a new one, so you can just set it aside for the time being. Now what we want to do is take all these little parts, drop them in the cleaner, then we're going to set this bowl aside and just let them sit and soak for a bit. Next we need to clean up these micro switches. Replacement switches are available on mikesarcade.com, but these are all still in good shape. None of them are really damaged, so I've opted to clean them rather than replace them. Most often than not, you'll find that the terminals on these switches are all bent up. To fix this, a pair of needle nose pliers work well. Try to flatten the terminals to their original shape rather than twisting and bending or you could risk damaging them entirely. Now that they're all back to shape, a quick cleaning with some isopropyl alcohol using cotton swabs and paper towel will get them back to looking like new. 
For the clear ball top collar, we're going to use some 7 16 clear vinyl tube with a 5 16 inner diameter. I picked this up at my local hardware store and the guy just gave me a foot of it when he found out what I was using it for. The key here to make it look good is a nice, even, flush cut, using the old one as a guide for length, then set it aside for later. Some older sticks use a two-part ball top and shaft threaded together and locked with a set screw. If that's the case for you, just be careful not to damage anything in this next step. Cleaning and polishing the ball top is actually quite easy. For starters, you'll need a small chunk of this 2000 grit wet dry sandpaper. One quarter of a full sheet will be plenty. I like to put these versus sticks into the chuck of my cordless drill. Get the ball top and sandpaper wet, then using a little random pressure, polish the plastic. If you're dealing with some pretty harsh blemishes, you can also use a coarse grit like 800 to start, but then work your way down to the finer 2000 grit. Just try not to overdo it and take too much off. Then after a quick rinse, wrap a small wet strip of the 2000 grit around the metal shaft and spin it to a polish. Alternatively, you could use a metal polish depending on how much corrosion you're dealing with. When you have it nice and shiny, give it another good rinse. Finally, after drying it off, we're going to use some Novus 2 and a microfiber cloth to give the ball top a nice shine. If you can't find any Novus 2, I've also seen this done just as well with some automotive headlamp polish. Apply a fair amount of Novus to the cloth and give the stick a good spin with some pressure to build up a little bit of heat. Then, when you're done and you like the way it looks, give the whole thing one last rinse and dry it off. So now that we have everything cleaned and polished, it's time to put this joystick back together. We'll start by putting the new rubber collar on the ball top. I like to use a small metal screwdriver to stretch it a bit to allow it to slide into place. Next we'll add a little grease to the bearing and the stick base. I've always liked to use Dow 33. I figure if it's good enough for my paintball guns, it's good enough for a joystick. Dow 33 is a thickened silicone lubricant with a special lithium soap used as a thickener. But by far the most popular thing to use is just plain old white lithium grease. Get a bit of grease on the bearing and spread it around. Using too much grease can not only make a mess, but it can also lead to sluggish response when using the joystick. Add a tiny bit of lube to the ball top. Then insert it through the plastics and the main bearing. The spring stopper can get a little bit of lube on the larger flat surface too, as it's up against the bearing. After that, install the spring, the switch collar, and using some pliers, add on the E-clip. Then just make sure it's all smooth and returns to center. Now we'll install the restrictor plate. This only goes on one way, so if you're having trouble installing the micro switches in the next step, you'll need to remove it and flip it over. Installing the micro switches is easy. Just put the screws through the switch, add a spacer, and then place it on the stick and tighten down the screws. Once you get all four installed, you're done. guys so that's it for this episode we want to do a huge shout out to mike and the folks over at mike's arcade we've got links below down in the description for all the parts that we use and as well give a huge thanks to our buddy rich for providing this joystick so we could actually do this restore if you guys like what we're doing here on the canadian arcade make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below in the comment section until next time we'll see you later watching Ozzy Man reviews. <laughs> the one, he deleted his episode on uh, hobby horses. The, the stick horses. A bunch of girls running around like a fake horse jumping horse holding stick horses. <laughs> it's, <a man. laughs> it's big in Finland. <laughs>